Kim's around, everybody. Let me tell you, these cams are going to be some work. These cams, if you can see that lobe. Man, there is just nothing there. I don't feel comfortable with that amount of um, clearance. That is just, that's just, uh, I mean, you can barely see light through there. So, they don't hit anything technically on the head, though I'm going to clearance. You know, all this stuff was, was opened up to because it's just a, a safety margin with those AMGs at least but these uh, these new cams are just I'm trying to get it on the, on the lobe there there's almost no visible light and, and I put the I put the rockers on it and uh, it'll hit the rockers right here right before the on this side of the uh, the rocker arm it's going to hit, so I need to clearance these. I need to clearance this, which is uh, um, the section that you saw on the on the cylinder head. So I need to clearance these a little bit. I need to clearance the uh, rocker arms. But in the <laughs> the, uh, the upper retainers are going to hit the going to hit the valve seal. And then uh, we're at we're at coil bind, so I get valve springs, and then I'll have to probably take some uh, some metal off of the upper retainers, and then clearance the rocker arms and the and the cylinder head. But that's what's going to take to get this to work. So it's going to be a long winter. The uh, intake manifold and the the original intake manifold and then the replacement intake manifold are at the machinist now. So he's going to see what it's going to take to do the adapters, but everything looks really good. So um, I'm going to go ahead and maybe pull that engine this weekend uh, just so I have have a head start. it only take me an hour and a half, maybe two hours to pull the engine, but that'll... Um, that will get the ball rolling, get the engine on the stand, and uh, see what it's going to take to to get all this together. So we'll see.